Hello and welcome back to Tharic Plays Blood Bowl 2. We are taking a break from the orcs since we've played three matches with them over the last one and a half week. And before that we played the lizard man last, so today we're going to go with the Skaven. And nope, not the orcs, the Skaven. So let's take a quick look at the team. We have no money right now because we had to replace two players, I think, or three, two at least. So, yeah, let's hope that we won't lose any more, just because if it's a Storm Vermin or a Gutter Runner, we might not be able to replace them and we need them, basically. Uh, on Aside from that, I like the way the team looks right now, especially the Storm Vermin are getting some skills finally and should be able to do something. And if possible, I would like to get a touchdown on Laughter this match just because he's really close to leveling up. So that would be pretty cool. And let's try to find an opponent. <clears throat> so if you're watching this, um, oh nice, that went fast, and Dark Elves, okay. And our opponent gets the stuff, I'll, I'll return to my line of thought, if train of thought if I don't forget. Let's take a quick look at his team, so he's got two block dodge blitzers, an armor value 9 lineman. Oh, hello, hello, so that's a min-max team. Or at least part of one. So we've got a Witch Elf with a lot of skills. Mighty Blood Honest. But she's missing Tackle, which might be important. But that's a lot of SPP. So this guy is trained his Witch Elves up. And is ignoring basically everything else. Uh, or just firing them. And... Okay. So this could be interesting. Um, luckily, we're, he's missing his strength 5 player, which is our uh, pretty big luck for us, I think. Uh, but aside from that, he basically has no skills. So if we can maybe foul them and take them down like that, I don't mind. And all he can get is a babe, except he spends some of his own money, which he might do. I don't know. We haven't faced a team like this before. It's basically a min-max team, or something like that. Oh, he's going for a bribe, so he's going on full of offensive. That's interesting. What min-maxing means is that he basically pulls all of his experience in as few players as possible, and aside from that has basically only the standard players, so that his team value is as low as possible, while being really dangerous. Usually you've got that on, on killer teams, who have one or two killer players, and the rest are just rank 1 guys, so that they can basically wreck anything uh, with their skills. <clears throat> okay, my train of thought. So, this comes out after the community matches, the first, commu uh, the first two, and I hope you like those. I had a lot of fun doing them, so I would like to do those again. And yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. And he decides what he wants to do. He will attack first. Not that surprising, considering what he has set up here. Oh, that was wrong. So let's take a quick look. We probably don't want to have blindness on the pitch right now. I mean, it doesn't change too much about our standard setup. Um, so what we need to do, aside from the obvious, is focus on... Or maybe you want to put our thrower out and put... Yeah, why not? Let's let's do this. I mean, he doesn't give us a benefit, so we might as well keep him off the pitch. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay. I need to learn how to write. And I can not. So I need to go back. That's a nice chat. Could have done that a lot quicker. We were playing against Logos Mani and he's playing Dark and Elfie. Okay, I have no idea how this will go. It's potentially catastrophic. Okay, and he's a funny guy, so... Hooray. That's what I was always afraid of when letting people know that I'm doing this. At some point, someone will do something like this, so yeah. That's fun. <laughs> I don't really care, but it's not... I don't think it's funny, and it's not necessarily something to be proud of. But we'll see. So this might go very right for us, if we can just take out his Witch Elves, and it could also go horribly, horribly wrong, if he can do what he's planning to do, which is basically um, bashing us with Dark Elves and fouling on top of everything, otherwise he wouldn't have bought a bribe. So, we'll see. Luckily things start off fairly okay with a push. Okay, he's got block there. And I'm just not going to engage with him. If you're wondering, wondering, I think it's not worth the, the hassle. We'll just play our best and try to make his life hard. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, he did not blit block with his witch elves. Okay, that's a bad start. Um, so he will blitz with one of them and probably against the storm vermin since they are most dangerous for him. At least that's what I assume. He can't, he, well he could get to a gutter runner now, not easily, but he could. But he's not going to. Okay, that's good enough for him. Okay, stun. It's better than the alternative, so I'll take it. And he's doing... Unfortunately, he's doing the smart thing, which is pulling her back and making sure we can't blitz her. And he will most likely set her up in a way that we won't be able to get a two dice against her as well. So, what this will most likely look like is him blitzing with the Witch Elf every turn, if possible, and then pulling the Witch Elf back in a position where we won't be able to reach. So this is a pretty big deal. He only stunned and already lost his bribe. Did he use his bribe and then rolled a 1? Looked like it, I saw one there. Yep, bribe failed. That can happen as well. So that's good for us. Okay, what I would like to do is get over there to the ball, because I will still play for the ball, of course. And to do that, what we need to do is take out this guy first. The blitzers would be better to get rid of, but we need to prioritize ball handling over everything else at the moment. So that's what we will do. We don't get the armor break though. And let's also put Retastrophe right next to his ball, uh, to his witch elf. I mean, why not? So what's next? Um, the problem we're facing is that we can't defend very well against him, which is a pretty big problem. Uh, 
Uh, we're already two players down? No, one player down. Oh, come on. Good thing we have Wrestle. I mean, it's not really good because I don't get a real knockdown. And I had to use up a reroll. But still. And... You know what? Yeah, I can't do that. We moved Cackle already. <clears throat> so how do we play this? I could foul this lineman, but I don't know if it's really worth it. And that would be a GFI, at least at the moment. So let's put ba Panic right there as sort of bait. We need to move Hysteria, and we need to move Hysteria somewhere semi-safe. And I need to make some fast decisions. You know what, let's... If we're already going for Ridiculous, I might as well lean into it. So let's see. Hello? Hello? Oh, too bad. I rolled a 2. I needed a 3. So this could be a problem. But I thought with Agility 5 as Elite worth the, the chance. I was thinking if I hadn't used Cackle but um, Panic, I would have used Cackle and then just leaped in there. Or maybe dodged and then leaped out of it. I don't know, but anyway, we do at least have the gutter runner on the ball. Um, but because of the knockdowns, we're in a pretty bad situation. And I am going this aggressive just because we can't really defend against him. Oh, he's going all the way back. Is that a chip going for it already? It is. N yes, it was. He's re-rolling that, so he's get, he's really greedy. He wants to get rid of Hysteria, but he doesn't. Well, he might foul him, but it's unlikely. Yeah, he, now he's picking up the ball. And there's the failure. Hello. And that's what happens when you are greedy with your roll. The Witch Elf does have Frenzy, so he's not even required to do that. Because she... She would have gotten a second block anyways. So it's basically his own fault that this happened. So what skills does she have? Uh, she does have sidestep, so I don't want to blitz her, unfortunately, because... Or maybe... I probably will risk it, though, in all honesty. Just because we do have tackle, so that's really good. And I would like to get the touchdown with Hysteria, but I don't think we... Or maybe, yeah, let's just do this. One dodge. Let's hope it works. Yep. So now we have our assist. Okay, perfect. He might decide to be pushed onto the ball to maybe get a scatter onto one of his players who could catch the ball. Okay, I did not see that. Oh. At least we get a stun. <clears throat> so that's pretty nice. Uh, but we're not going to pick up the ball with Laughter because he's in a pretty bad situation. But we will use Hysteria. So let's do this first and see how we do. Thank you. And there's our first touchdown. <clears throat> so, we still have an injured player, but we're back up to 11 players and he's down to 10 because he does not have a reserve player because he's min-maxing and that means no reserve players. So our position is actually not too bad at the moment. And let's put Chuck off the pitch again and put Mishap on the line of scrimmage.
And so my main focus here is just not agreeing into his game and letting myself be intimidated by that. We do have the tools necessary to win. We have our gutter runners, we have two players with tackle and mighty blow and block that can deal with his witch elves who have dodge, but we don't care about that. So yeah, I'm feeling okay right now. We are still in a really dangerous situation and I assume that we will uh, sustain more injuries along the way, but you never know. We can, we should be able to put a little bit more pressure on him now, considering that he's down a player. Uh, but it's Blood Bowl, you never know. I had to use a reroll already, which is not that nice. And he used his reroll on a stupid block reroll. Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Okay, this could be good, if it get us into one of those fields. Obviously not down there, because that would give him a touchback. And he would just have the ball. And Dark Elves can of course pass, but nice, perfect. But they tend to go more for a running game. So I don't know if he would risk a pass forward, and we might just run around again around him if he doesn't defend, and we will just try to take the ball from him again right away. And he's just repeating his actions from the first turn. It's not surprising. Let's just hope he doesn't get an injury. <clears throat> Okay, I should not have said that, apparently. It's mishap. Doesn't have any SPP, but it's only badly hurt. So we're back to 10 against 10. But you would see he is changing his plan a little bit. He blocked with his, um, with his Witch Elf, who had a better chance of wounding our Ammo Value 7 player. Um, because he wants to get the player advantage again, I think. Uh, that's what it comes down to. And he did not pull her back, so if we want, we can blitz her. And that's most likely what we will do. Let's see if he gets the pickup. He can. But I will at least put one or two gutter runners around and try to put them into a favorable position. So these just need to stand up. And the question is which which elf I would like to go for. This one does have Dauntless, we don't care about that guard. Okay, he's got Block and Wrestle, why? That's weird. This one doesn't actually have Mighty Blow, so we should go for Nuke. Um, yeah, let's do that. And I would love to be able to foul her afterwards, but uh, we can push her into a position where we are, where we have a good chance at that. Come on. There it is. We at least have her KO'd. So that's a really good start. And the problem with going min-maxing with Dark Elves is that his min-max players are still ammo value 7. So they are not that tanky, and if we get a chance at them, we can just take them down. And let's go there. And just because it's one roll, let's leap. I want to show that off again. Hello. And then we can put Kaka right there. That will most likely get him blocked, but that should be okay, I hope. So let's move Laughter around there as well. Uh, this will stop with Panic, and I will keep Hysteria where he is right now, or 
Let's go here. And I don't know, we, with Carl, we either stay where we are, or go one space forward, actually, or maybe not, or we put him next to this witch elf, just so that he just can't automatically blitz with her. But that might be risky, but I think it's probably worth the risk, considering the, the gacha runners. They're worth more, so let's do that. And that ends our turn. And reactions like his eh, or hers, I don't know, is actually making me think if I want to tell people that I'm recording these for YouTube. It's not like I need to s tell them that, I think. At least I assume. Okay, he's still... But we, we forced him to dodge, so there's that. And that's not good enough. He will still get another three dice. And it's still not good enough. Does he take another reroll? Yep, he does. And he still doesn't get it. Okay, why? I don't... Okay, he wants to foul us. That makes sense. I mean, I still won't concede. I somehow have the feeling that part of his tactic is relying on the fact that his opponents do um, concede on a regular basis, but you all know me, I don't do something like this. Oh, at least he's, he's, he has enough sense to set up against the two dice blocker potential that could come from there. Let's see what happens here. Okay, he injured Cackle, which is not nice. Okay, pinch nerf, nothing to be, nothing problematic. It's unfortunate, but we can live with it. And he lost another player. At least he's using his lineman for that, so he's not losing his most valuable players at the moment. But still, so, what are my options right now? We probably... Well, I can't really attack the ball at this point in time, so we should just focus on his... on anything else, basically. So let's start with that. And we do want to limit his movements, if possible. And we can't really outmuscle him yet, but we can make things a lot harder for him. So who's got more? They're really close to each other, so let's do this. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's go both down. And then we'll put Radiation here. I do want to have a Tackle player next to his Witch Elf. Okay, let's put Hysteria right there. And... We don't want him to have an assist here, so even though it's a bit risky... Yeah, let's, let's put Laughter right here, just so that we have a player on the ball carrier. Let's see. And it's pretty obvious what he's going for. He's not that deceptive. Oh, he gets the defender down. So he will get another foul if he wants to. Which he might go for. He already has three players, basically, here. And he's pulling back, and he's pulling even further back. Yeah, keep fouling. I don't care. <laughs> One of the players I care most about is already off the pitch with Miss Next Game, so as long as he doesn't get Hysteria, uh, I don't really have anything to worry about. 
and it's really obvious what he's going for. He, I will, I will not concede, and I don't think he understands that yet. And if he's just trying to go for team destruction, I don't really mind. It will get us more SPP, and him not the win. Nope. Well, he didn't get caught this time. But he's also giving me a chance at this switch off again, which is really nice. Okay, he's dodging through this, not going for it. I mean, he is using this guy as his possibility to maybe get a touchdown, and we need to set up against that, unfortunately. But uh, at the moment, it's not that big of a deal. So let's pull Carl back. And probably blindness, just because we can't really use him there. And disaster is a better choice for up close. And next we'll go for our Blitz against his Witch Elf. And I will reroll that. I will get greedy and play a little bit into his game, and I failed. I, I should know better by now, but um, I tried. So this next, that's probably, I misplayed that positioning, but it's fine for now. Let's go there. And let's just see. Let's put Hysteria right there. Or nope, not exactly. Or actually, yes. And Panic. Well, he does get some assists here. So let's leave Panic where he is for now. So he can get an assist here, but not if he moves the guy there. Yep, there's correct. Well, one of the chances he has. Oh, yeah, that's right, she's got guard. Okay. Not, yeah. So he wants to probably foul Retastrophe next. Still nothing, not a big problem. We still have our chance against his Witch Elf next turn. Regardless of what happens. And I mean, we are already in the lead. Yep, that works. Let's see. Three injuries, one KO. So at best, we are at nine players. This guy is just so much fun to play against. It's so nice. <laughs> And he didn't get caught again, unfortunately. Hello. At some point that guy should injure himself. And since he was so generous to set up like that, we should try to take advantage of that and actually not blitz his witch elf but um, blitz the ball carrier instead and try to score again and with disaster we actually have a really good chance and I will use my last reroll for that because I would like to score again thank you so let's see how that works out depends on where the ball goes of course, it goes somewhere I don't really want it to be. 
So let's do this first. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a problem now, officially. I didn't move here because I didn't think about it at the time. And Hysteria is next to his guys. The only upside is he can't reach, he probably won't do it with, a, with his Witch Elf. And we don't have block. Okay, so now he needs to blitz again. At least there's that. He will do that, I assume. But it's okay. And Disaster does have the ball at the moment, but it's pretty unlikely that he will keep it, I think. Oh, he's actually going after the ball. That's interesting. The first block I rerolled was a mistake. I stand by this one because I am playing for the touchdown and re-rolling that is the correct choice in that matter, I think. But I still don't necessarily like how this turned out. And because of Fend, he won't get to follow after, but this guy can block. But he doesn't get an assist yet or yes nope yeah he needs to follow after she's got guard that's what he needs he does not it's still good enough this guy can take the block and he gets it but there's probably maybe he will foul disaster i don't know maybe he doesn't need to yes he does um, and the scatter is pretty bad. So will he foul? Oh, he's thinking about a pickup. He wants to dodge first. Okay, let's see. Uh, he will focus on picking up the ball. But he will... I don't think... Oh, he will actually take his last reroll for that. He still fails. Oh boy, but this guy doesn't. But we can get a good blitz against that guy. So let's once again try to make sure that he can score. And we'll actually just block him now. So we will set him up like this. He will get easier dodges, but that will make it so that he won't be able to reach. We do have guard here, so this should be a two dice. And we will stay. But he catches the ball. That's a bummer. Okay. Um, so... I don't know. I probably still need to try this one dice. Okay, it's just a push. Um, let's stay. And that way at least I do get this. Okay, so it's a pretty rough game. We have three injuries already. And two KOs, who hopefully will come back. And it would be nice if his Witch Elf would stay out. He can't score. Well, he could dodge through this, but it's unlikely to work. So he's just going to foul first now again. And with the amount he gets it, of course. I wouldn't mind him being caught once again, though, but... He gets really lucky with this, with the, these now. So, what can we do? Yeah, he's blitzing. He wants to get rid of Hysteria. Oh, he gets the defender down. That's not good. There it is. Okay, just a stun. This is not looking very good right now. So where does this guy go? Guard. 
Yeah, so we have... Oh, interesting. So we basically have two possibilities now. Because we do still have our eighth turn. Oh, does he make the decision easier for me? He does not. One is to blitz his Witch Elf and hope that we can get an injury with Ratiation. And we're waiting for the server. Okay, and it's back. The second one is dodging with Rack, putting him there and then blitzing, trying to get the ball. And I really don't know which one is better because this way we need to dodge with panic, put him here, just so that he loses his tackle, his advantages here. So this is a one dice or a two dice against at the moment. Um, this dodge... We should probably play it safe. I would like to get the chance at the touchdown, but it would require a dodge with Agility 3, which I really don't want to do. So let's do this and try to um, deal some damage against his Witch Elf. It's probably the better bet, but we don't get the, dis the rolls we need. And that basically ends the half. So we are in the lead, and only one KO comes back. That's really bad. At least his Witch Elf stays out of the pitch as well. That should help. Oh yeah, he's playing defense. Three, six, eight players against our eight as well. So, what's the plus side here? The plus side is we still have both of our Storm Vermin. Which is actually really important, I think. So, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Or I usually want to go 8, I think. So, this is a block. This is one I would like to go after his Witch Elf right away, which would mean not using Retiation here. Uh, we would need to leave space to get there. So, let's try that, I think. She's our she's our biggest threat, basically. And I am putting Carl on the line of scrimmage just because he has block. And we should also switch these. And then we can move Panic after him. I don't like leaving Hysteria unprotected like that. But we don't have a big choice here, I think. Let's see how this works out. He doesn't have kick, so he doesn't he can't really control his kick of that well. We'll see. Of course he gets the blitz. <laughs> That's just perfect. At least the ball goes where I want it to be, but this already puts us at a disadvantage. And, a pr and this will get Hysteria blitzed. He doesn't get it though, but he might use a reroll. He does, and that's good enough. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Nothing, at least nothing of consequence. But that screws over my plan to blitz his Witch Elf. We now need to focus on defense already. And he is now making his best effort to force us to 
not be able to do that. So this is a pretty big deal. And he's getting all of his rolls right now. But if he fails the catch, that could be good. Go for it. If he gets it, I'm impressed. Okay, he's just mocking radiation. Or, yep. And he catches the ball. Okay, um, it's not the end of the world yet. We do have some options here. We still start with this block. But this we don't follow now. Okay, uh, let me think real quick. Yeah, I don't really like this, but we don't have a big choice. That's really nice. Let's stay. Oh, Carl, just stunned. Okay, nice. So, we do have guard here. We don't have any skill here, which is unfortunate. But I want to blitz from here. Nope. Why? Oh, he's got guard as well. So I need to blitz from here. That's good. But the scatter is the important part now. Let's not follow until we know where the ball goes. Please scatter there. That's actually fine. And if I commit to this, I might as well commit as heavily as possible. Let's do this. No, of course I roll a double one. So what I was planning on doing was running him down the pitch, then standing up with Hysteria, picking up the ball and passing it. But the double one is real and a problem. We still have two players on the ball, but he can get rid of those. At least we do have Rek here, who has guards, so he needs to... Well, he actually might not be able to get a good block against Rack from the way things are right now. But he doesn't really need to, he can just push us away. Yep, so you will push us there and there, I assume. He does not. Interesting. If he dodges with this guy, he can get a two dice now. Um, but he might just pick up the ball, yeah. That could happen. So this is a bit of a problem. And I feel a little bit cheated at the moment. <laughs> First he gets the blitz, then then we roll a double one when we don't or can afford, when we can't really afford to get one. It is what it is, so there's no real use complaining, but uh, I don't like this very much. Uh, what's good though is that he will most likely not be able to pick up the ball, maybe with this guy, but that's a big maybe. Oh, he actually wants to foul again first. So he still got us his priority straight. Yeah, it's Hysteria. It's not that surprising. He failed, though. Let's see. Yep. There he goes. I wouldn't mind seeing one from him, though. Nope. Not being nice to me. And there goes the handoff. Okay. I do have a plan of action, though, of course. So, let's stand up Rack. Which allows me to make this not a two dice yet. Unfortunately. Oh, boy. Nope. Nope. 
Yeah, I don't like this, but we just need to stand him up. And if he's smart and sees it, he has exactly one field to be pushed where he can ruin my chances, but not with the defender down. Yep, but that would be the right space to be pushed. But now we have an assist here, which is what we need. So what we need to do next is create an opening for Retastrophe. Okay, that works. And this is still a one dice because this guy is there. So let's move in Carl. And now we have the two dice. So that worked out very well. And if the scatter goes that way, assuming we get a knockdown, which we don't yet, so let's reroll. And it doesn't change, unfortunately. Uh, we would have been able to pick up the ball, but I will still do this. And put myself in the way as much as possible. Um, one over. Or, nope, that's fine. So let's see what he does with this. It's unfortunate that we didn't get the knockdown. Uh, that probably would have helped us immensely. But we have guard in place and some other stuff. And he's oh, starting to focus on Hysteria again, which is fine. And the KO is actually perfect. Well, it puts us at a disadvantage, but it means that Hysteria is safer now. So what will he do next? That's a two dice because of guard. That's no good for us. Pushes one tackle zone away, but we still have this guy there. But he can dodge there now. We couldn't have prevented that, aside from putting Panic right there. I wasn't really sure about that. In hindsight, it was a mistake now, so not a good idea. <clears throat> but I really don't like his playstyle, and I can already see his mind moving again, because he wants to foul here. He wants to just go there and then step on this guy. Or actually, maybe even leave him where he is. Oh, he's not doing that. That's a surprise. Let's see, will he do the smart thing and move him in, him in to protect? Or not? He could move him there as well. That would make it very safe. Nope. He's going for the foul. And there's another KO. And can, for the love of whatever deity ever, thank you. He finally gets sent off with another guy. So at least we have that going for us. And this should be a two dice. Once again, we only push, which is not what we were hoping for, but it's all we're going to get. And we probably want to do this. And then we can blitz him. Oh, come on. Every time I go against... Oh, what? Yeah, I... I I want to win. I, it's not like I'm playing bad or anything and I'm getting salty again because the dice are screwing me. And I hate that. I mean, we're playing with this handicap. We're still doing well. And then just 
even if I re-roll all of my rolls, my block rolls, I can't get the ball away from him because I can't get the good dice rolls. On eight dice rolls now, in a row, against the ball carrier, I did not get a knockdown. Which is just ridiculous. And if I at least could injure him a little bit to soothe my soul or something like that, but now all he needs to do is dodge and it's 1-1. And that's on my attack. Because he got a blitz. And I rolled a double one with a dodge. But he will blitz first, and that's exactly why I didn't put panic right there. Because something like this could happen, and he would surf us. And that surf with a U, and not with an E. <laughs> and an F, not with a V. Okay, and we get another KO. So, three injuries, four KOs. And I assume he won't even score now. Because he's in an okay situation down here. And we need to move over. But we really can't that easily. And I can't get a good block here. I mean, I will still try to dodge and blitz. But it's not looking very good at the moment. Yep, he's throwing the block. And he will reroll that. And there it is. And he will push me there. Other everything else would be pretty stupid. And that's the cherry on top of everything. And we have another miss next game, which I can't really afford to reroll because he will keep fouling and he will keep doing stuff I don't want him to do. And that was actually really nice of him, because that might give me the chance to get a two dice. If this works. And we fail the first going for it. So yeah, good chances of losing this game. I will take my last reroll, even though it's really not good. And there's the second one. So yay. Um, so I think what we can... And Wreck is injured. Hello. Perfect. Yeah. So we've got three players left on the pitch. And he can take all the time in the world now to beat the living crap out of the remaining three. And foul them. Until I have no players left. And I think that's what will happen. He will take the draw and try to beat us as much as possible. He might not even resolve to fouling anymore, I assume he will, but he might not, just so that he has a better chance of gaining SPP. I don't know, but the second half was just really unlucky. We should have won this easily, but there was just too many failed roads. Yep, he's not scoring. He's taking his time. He doesn't want to score. That's not a nice game. I mean, it was bound to happen, but it's just not very fun. So what we can hope for, that he just KOs everyone. As long as I don't get any permanent injuries out of this, we can live with it. I don't like that we have two miss next game players, but that's something we can deal with. Even if it's a gutter runner and a... And a um, you know what I want to say? Yeah, we can't blitz her, unfortunately. So let's... It's not move effective, but who cares at this point? We still need to put pressure on the ball, so let's position our players in the way that we could potentially reach him next turn. He will block that, but we could, and of course I don't get a knockdown. Why would I? Let's stay and end our turn. That was a quick one. <laughs> I mean, you can just box me in now. And this still will. This game will still end in a draw, mainly because he can't risk me getting his career back and doing a one-turn touchdown. Uh, but it. I think this is one of the first matches I can honestly say I'm not having a lot of fun. 
even the matches against Chaos were okay because the roads were not too bad. But what is happening right now is just ridiculous. <laughs> but hey, at least you get to see a clear pitch. But that's just not... It's legitimate strategy. Oh wow, he actually scored. I, I did not think he would go for that, so he's trying to win after all. Okay, so this got interesting again. I mean, I still got five injured. And only four players come back, so we are at five in total. Well, at least his second witch off still stares off the pitch. Okay, so do we have hysteria? We do. So I think I will try the one turn touchdown, even though it's a lot of going for it. We don't really have a big choice here. He can. He has seven players, and three of our five are gutter runners. So that's just not a good setup to get things going here. So yes, we will try to just... You know what? Let's do this. And put laughter there. Or we should probably still put him in the middle. And hysteria there because we don't want to be served right away. We will still be if he gets something we don't want. But, oh well, let's see. Because I can't take two turns here now, I think. So he gets the perfect answer for my plans. He gets the perfect defense so he can effectively block Hysteria. Thank you for that game. I like this so much. And I'm really sorry that I'm getting salty, and it's been a long while since I've been this salty. But this is just horrible. I mean, he's not doing the smart thing, which would be putting three players here to just block me effectively. So I still have a chance. But it's getting a lot harder. So this might still work. We'll see. We just need one one to ruin this. Or probably even a two here. So this one doesn't make it better. Two doesn't make it better. So we can just throw the ball. And there's the one. Oh boy. Oh, this is this is just frustrating. It's not good enough that we're playing against a guy that is so obviously going for destruction and trying to win like that. Yep, there comes the surf. And he even takes the gree he even takes the stupid dodge here. He will push us there and then push us off the pitch. Thank you very much. So that's nice. At least we don't get any injuries. Yeah, that's just perfect. It's just frustrating, and I hope you can all understand that I, I didn't play a bad game. I think I did fairly well, considering that we were basically a lot of players down most of the time, and I he was so greedy and going for blocks uh, for fouls basically every turn when he should have done other stuff but it's just nothing we can do here i mean i will still try the obvious which is dodge here not there directly because there would be two tackle zones here is one make the pickup dodge again make the pass try to get away it probably won't work, but we still need to try. So, if I do this first, let's see, how far can I get if I do this? The problem is the catch here. So I probably should start with this. Um... 
just because it keeps panic safe no matter what and then we will do this first and there's already the failed roll so that was double twos I think yep <sighs> So we will lose this one after all. Assuming he picks up the ball, which is not really difficult to do. He has a reroll, so as long as he doesn't roll double ones, he will get it. Let's see if he's still super greedy and will foul prior to the pickup. I assume that he will, considering his positioning here. And he does not, wow. Yeah, he will move him there, though, and then foul. Nope, he goes for a pass. Is that guy close to leveling up? He's not, but that guy is. Oh, boy. Yeah, not a fun game. It started off okay, but the second half was just catastrophic. That's not how I would like to play Blood Bowl. And there comes the foul, for a good measure. And he can send off, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Not with the way things are. So, we're in our last turn. Let's at least try to do this block first. It's not like it will do anything. And then we will... I mean, is it really better to go this way and try to blitz this guy, or do I just want to go straight there? Well, it's a three dice against, so let's not do that. Yeah, let's do this. It will fail. Actually not, wow. But that's not good enough. And I want to follow because I don't want to be surfed. But that's the game. And we will lose this one because I cannot do anything in the second half. And I hope you all agree with me. <laughs> so there is at least one upside. Um, laughter leveled up. So that's pretty nice. But aside from that... I don't like this, and it would have been so awesome if you could have just failed this horribly. That would have made my day. But he even gets more rank ups out of this, which is... I don't know. It's, it's still an okay strategy what he did, in all honesty, but I just don't like this way of playing, and it's really annoying that I should have won, but he got a blitz, and... I rolled consecutive ones in, in situations where I really couldn't afford to. We can't do anything about that, but it's I still don't like it. And we got two miss next game, but at least we didn't get a permanent injury. And one level up. We lost one fan factor, but yeah. So our team value dropped drastically because of the injured players. And let's see what we get here. an 8, so a normal level up. So, it's actually possible that we will now have a player with block and sidestep. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. Okay, so our next match will be with 11 players again, and we will be bow down, we will be down both one Storm Vermin and a Gutter Runner, which is not really good. But our team value is also a lot lower. Yep, there's the number six. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see. So I hope you still enjoyed this episode and maybe gained something from my approach here. Because I think we did well in the first half and in the second half considering the roads that I got at important points. So I hope you... you you still got something out of this. 
so if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Blood Bowl, just subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.